Hey there, it's Mr. Truck and Mrs. Truck. <laughs> Another video. <laughs> and we bought a new truck, like right after we got married. Yes, we did. And it had problems with the old one, and I tell you, it was interesting. The old one is six years old, 113,000 miles on it. And I even had a year left on the warranty, on the extended warranty, but not to tell you about that. I love this new truck. I like Ford trucks real well. And Ford keeps helping me out when I have a problem with the, the ESP warranty, which is supposedly a Ford product. I think it's a subcontractor, but what do I know? <laughs> anyway, that's twice now that they've denied me on different trucks, different years. And anyway, I'm done with them. I'm going to get something else. But you don't need to get extended warranty until you've gone to the 36,000 or close to 36,000 miles because that's bumper to bumper from the factory. You don't need extended warranty. You don't need to pay on it for three years before you can use it. So I'm going to do a lot more research in the extended warranty business. But I do think Ford's great. They always help me out. They've done good on this deal too. And this truck, this is an XL. I have not had an XL truck in, good gosh, three trucks back. Uh, no, two trucks back. Yeah, two trucks back. <laughs> Uh, and I like them because you can get six seats and you can get them in all of them, but nobody ever orders them that way, so the dealers don't have them. And when this one does, I'll show you how we can sit side by side, hold hands and <laughs> snuggle going down the road. But anyway, mm. this has the Coyote 5 liter. I think that's a little more dependable engine. I had the EcoBoost twin turbo, very popular. And six years ago when I was trying to decide, I wanted to get the V8, but I thought, well, you know, the 3.5 EcoBoost had better gas mileage, higher payload, higher trader capacity. So you know, the numbers pushed me that way. And you know, if you look up the history of all these engines, this five liter, the 302 Coyote has been around forever. And it's had really good uh, you know, longevity, which is what I'm looking for. So this time we're going to get the Coyote. We'll get that V8 hum motor, which is cool. And you'll fly down the road, you get up over 2000 RPMs, you get that beautiful V8 sound. But anyway, yeah, we're going to show you all the stuff we did on this because this we had to order it just differently. And Ford's changed a lot about what the XL has. In the old days, an XL work truck, you got roll-up windows, no tilt wheel, no cruise control, maybe no air. It all depends on how far back you go. And this year, my goodness, I mean, I wanted an STX, but that was going to cost an extra $3,000. I wanted an XLT like I had last time. That's another $5,000. So we didn't do it. And this truck even is a base model XL was still $8,000 more than my last truck. So that's what's happened over the last six years. And interest has gone crazy. So anyway, how much horsepower and torque do we have, yes. Mrs. Truck? <laughs> we have 400 horsepower and 410 on torque. Wow, and then that's enough. That's what I need. The last one, I, you know, I towed over 12,000 pounds. This one with a 331 rear end without locker, which I miss. I'm at, we're at 9,300 pounds 9, of trailers. Yeah. That's where we are. If we would have got a 373 axle, it could have been a 10.3. But anyway, we try to get the best deal we could, and this is what we're gonna be pulling this trailer bias here. And that is how it's gonna work. So that's just right for it. And we're gonna put a, you know, one of those Can-Am spiders in there. and We hit right at the right weight. So that's what we had to do. I looked at the 2.7s too, and they, they top out at 8,000 pounds. So, this is what we have. We have the V8 Rumble. We'll show you all the cool things on this. Back in the old days, they didn't come with much. They still have the steel wheels, and we got rid of those. I, I got some knockoff Chinese Raptor meal, uh, wheels on Facebook's Marketplace. I've actually got a lot of stuff. I'll show you the running boards I got on Marketplace. But uh, anyway, we put some of the options on the other truck on here. I'll show you those. But it's really a cool engine, but now, Standard on XL, you get the big 12-inch screen. You get navigation. Well, it's actually just a compass thing. Navigation, you got to upgrade, and we'll do that. We'll pay for that. But it's got, uh, you know, 10-speed automatic. It has power windows, and it, the front rows is automatic up and down. You just push it once. I love that. And tilt and cruise, and tilt and tilt and, and, and telescoping wheel. Yeah, we got Cirrus again off our other truck. And it's got, it's really cool. It's got, it doesn't have the um, towing, the max towing package like I had last time. And mostly I've just that little wedge on the back. And it may have been a transmission cooler. I couldn't figure that one out. But anyway, this one has that little wedge, like for the, the heavy duty trailering package. The, and this one has a single leaf on top and then a real thick leaf spring on the bottom and we put 2,000 pounds on which is ridged a little over that and it, it, it leveled out 
you know, that's how they do put that wedge in there. It's all about leveling you out. I wish they would do that with the suspension to where, you know, you didn't have to put a wedge in there, but that's how it goes. So anyway, we're pretty happy with it. And we got a six and a half foot bed this time. Last time we got a five and a half because I always wait till the end of the year, like December, get all the rebates. And then I end up with not exactly the configuration I wanted. But this time we did, we got in early. We got, you know, the six passenger truck. We got the six and a half foot bed so I can actually haul stuff. And my truck is the same length as Mrs. Trek, Mrs. Are you Mrs. Trek or Mrs. I, Trailer? I, I'm Mrs. Trek. You're Mrs. Trek. <laughs> so let's look over here and you see what, what year is your Dodge? 2001. 2001. And it's a three quarter ton, 2500 with the Cummins diesel. It's an automatic and it's a long bed with a, with a club cap. And it's the exact same length as my new truck, our own new truck. And she's going to sell it. So if only what's it got? Seventy-one thousand miles. Seventy-three. Seventy-three thousand miles. It's like a new baby, but you know that's going to go on the market real soon. And then we're going to get an SUV. So we'll be the standard American couple <laughs> with a truck and an SUV. So, so there. But let's show you the truck and come with us. Come along. Don't go away, Mr. Truck TV. We'll be right back. Check it out. I can work. see my hand move. Okay. Mm. Okay. This has six seat belts. Three in the front, three in the back. Middle one folds up. And then you can set your newlywed next to you. <laughs> and then underneath the bottom one, you lift it up and there's a storage place. Like the old console had all kinds of storage places. But this has some storage places. We'll show you all of that. But... Look at this. We can snuggle. We can kiss. Isn't that awesome? Can you do that in your truck? No, you probably got a damn console in the freaking way. But we, we have that newlywed model. Looky, looky. Nice grill. It's all black. The bumpers are black. And I put aftermarket wheels on. They're all actually a matte black, not glossy black. So that's what I did the wheels. I'll show them to you. But I like the grill on these. This is cool. This is a 2024. That's what they look like. It's got really cool LEDs. And I'll show you also inside, this have the automatic headlights, of course, but they also have the automatic dimming lights. And that's all part of this package. It's all XL, man. So you can actually it automatically have your lights dimmed, which is great in the country where I live. Because you know, you're always out in the middle of nowhere. I like these LEDs. It's actually a lot brighter than my last truck. My last truck was 2018 F-150. Well, look at the bumper, it's even got tow hooks. Can you see the tow hooks? Let me zoom them in a little bit. Yes, two tow hooks, Toyota. Take it from Ford, you need two tow hooks on every truck made. Now this is not FX4. And this is the XL. If I spent, this is the XL. If I spent 3,000 more, I could have got an STX and had the locking rear end and the FX4 and a few other things, but that's $3,000. And XLT would have been $5,000 more. And of course, had power seats and such like that. We don't have power seat, we don't need them. We set them where they are and don't adjust them too often. Let me show you the engine. Awesome headlights. But look up here, look at the big monster. Look at the giant valve covers, look at this thing. That is a Coyote 302 5.0 liters. Big air filter, big snorkel, but my gosh, that engine is gigantic. Look at the size of those valve covers. Holy moly. But yep, it's an XL. I want to show you something else, which is kind of new. They've all got chin, they've all got chin guards. And that's supposed to help fuel mileage. So you have this chin guard. And yeah, I suppose it does deflect some wind and give you a little better fuel mileage but you usually end up bumping into those curbs or the little markers for your lane. So I don't like them, but look at this thing. I hope you can see it because it's got, it's got two. There's a double chin, chin, a double chin. Yeah. It's like us old guys, double chin, but it's got the outside one. It's got one right behind it. I hope you can see that because that's the spoiler is a double spoiler. You got the normal one that comes down and runs into things, and you got one behind it. If you can see it past this wheel, but yeah, it's got a double chin, kind of like those old guys do. 
the wheels. These are aftermarket Chinese knockoffs I got on eBay's marketplace. I love these. And see, it's a black, a black, a matte black, a gray ring around them, but that matches the bumper and you know the mirrors and the handlebars or the, the the grips, running board. They're all matte black. So it's so cool. And then I got the good studs on here, the good nuts, because on these. They coat them with plastic on the rest of the models. And then after you change tires about three times, rotate it, the plastic starts peeling off and your sockets won't fit. So I says, no, I want steel lug nuts. No more of that crap. XL, man, it's a work truck. It's for us guys that work for a living. Now these doors are so cool. They got so many pockets in them. And I always cover them with gloves and tools and all that. But looky, looky, man, you got power door locks. You got power mirrors, and I'll talk about mirrors in a little bit here. Then you got power up and down window. The front row is all power. Push this button, and there it goes. One push. I love those. And all the way it comes down. That is just too cool. Lots of speakers still. And there's the seat. And there I'm showing you the middle seat. And that folds down. And you got still got bolsters. You just don't have power seats. It's a manual. Then look at here, all the light controls, automatic light controls, light for the bed. And then it's, I think it's electronic uh, brake controller. Yeah, you can hear it squealing, so it's not a manual cable. It's, I gotta push on the brake to shut it off. But then yeah, look at here, this middle console. See, so look down there, you got an extra little shelf, and then a place to hook things, probably your grocery bags, but all kinds of plugins. And it's got a plug-in over here for 12 volt. I'll show you some things about that. And here you have a bunch more. So my goodness, that's four USB plugs, which is nice. Look at the knobs. Knobs the radio, knobs for your heat and your fan. And then you've got four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive high and low. And I'll show you some modes on it. But that is so cool. Look at a giant screen. That's 12 inches of screen. And all kinds of toys in there. You still got the map lights. You still got all the headrests. But let me show you here. Center console. Push it up. And look, you have your Mr. Truck hat in there. And all this other stuff I have in there. And that there is the Kurt brake controller. It didn't come with a brake controller. This is when you stick in your truck's plug and you stick your trailer in there. I've been using these several times. So I got trailer brakes. I'm going to go get a direct link from Tucson put in and a sway control on a trailer. That'll be another video. But yeah, there's your, still have storage there. And then you fold the seat down. Push a button and the seat folds down. And you got cup holders. Actually up front you have four cup holders and similar stuff in the back. But let me show you some other things in here. Don't want to forget this. This is the American flag they have on each side. And it's, it's in chrome. But yeah, in here now, this here gadget. My old truck, it had a 400 watt inverter in the dash. And I love that for laptops and all that. And this is 400 watt I bought for hardly anything. I'll tell you the name of it. Oh, the name of it's right there. Full vol, full vol, full vol. Of course, got it off of Amazon. But yeah, so now it gives me my juice if you're on a computer, a laptop, cruising down the road, and Mrs. Truck will be driving, then I can work on my job. Another place over there, a little cubby hole, and of course a little box. It's really, and it's got trays up here so they can go flying at you when you have an accident. No, I'm not really sure I like that. And it's got a camera button. We'll go through all that. Unawesome. What it is, is your owner's manual is no longer a giant book. Now it's in the cotton picking dash. And it's, you can't do it on the go. You have to try to figure out how to find stuff on there. We've looked up several things, never found any of them. So I guess we'll just have to call somebody. But yeah, I wish we had the manual. I may have to buy a manual. I don't really like buying a manual, but I may do it. But yeah, we got tilt and cruise and all of that. And it's got manual. If you want to go manual mode and shift with your buttons, you can do that. But uh, let me show you some of the modes. There's some really cool stuff about how the modes are. This thing has a lot of them. So yeah, this is island. This is what it sounds like when it's island. It has about, oh, probably 1150 RPMs at idle. 
and then go down the highway, get 2,000 RPMs, you get the V8 rumble, which we all love. But yeah, I bought this with only like five miles on it or whatever. But let me show you some stuff here. Yep, and there's the gauge. And so you can see that red seat. It shows you who all's buckled in. That's me, I'm not buckled in, I'm sitting here. But it shows you that in the back too. My grandkids try to get sneaky and buckle it behind them. But I can tell that, I can just see it in the mirror. But I want to know that everybody inside is wearing their seat belts. So there's your normal gauges you see up there. Your fuel, your oil temperature, your oil pressure, and your, your engine temperature, your radiator kind of thing. The tachometer over there. Let's see if I can do all this. Pushing the button. Where's the mode button? Oh yeah, the drive modes right there. Now there's also a towing button right here. You push that and you can do all this stuff with your you managing your trailers. That's really cool. That's what all the big ones have. Select active trailer, connection checklist, managing trailers. That's fantastic. You have all that. Now the nav is just a compass. I am going to upgrade it to get the regular nav on here, but Hey, look at the apps you've got. CarPlay, all of that. And you, you know, it's all that's digital. And you can go to settings. And there's all your list on your phone. Vehicle settings, display connectivity. Plenty of stuff to do there. But on the uh, four wheel drive switch, it says drive modes. So let me show you that. I'm going to twist that. Let's see where it's going. Normal driving. Tow haul modes right there in that mode button. There's Eco. I use that all the time. It's better fuel mileage. And there's sport mode so I can go fast. Yeah. Off-road. And that is so cool. You can go off-road. I'll oh, see the shifts in the full drive automatically. Oh, then it gives you status. Still shows you what direction you're going. It shows what's running, what's not running. And then you can find that. Vehicle. Onboard modem, serial number, lighting wipers, locks. I know it's got a four drive button on here. Now let's see, let's go to feature button. There's towing drivers, there's owner's manual, driver's assist, the lane keeping, pre collision, exit warning, rear view mirror display. Yeah, blind spot information, all these sensors, reverse brake assist. Cool, and it tells you I had to drink coffee. I should leave it on. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go back over here. And you can see where it's at. And this is in the steering wheel. There's gauges. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for, off-road. Let's see. Off-road. Off-road status. See there, it tells you the angle of everything. And that is cool. So you can see if you're falling off the cliff or wherever you're going. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Compass. Pitch and roll. It's got off lot off-road stuff. It's amazing all this is on an XL. I am amazed. Let's go to menu. Okay, <clears throat> the gauges. This is really impressive here. The gauges, measurements. Engine coolant temperature tells you exactly what it is. 172 transmission temperature, 150. Engine oil temperature, 163. Battery voltage is 12 volt. Now see, in, in our old, my last XL, actually my last truck, it did not have the battery. You didn't know if you were losing juice or whatever. You had no indication. This has all that actually as a gauge. I'm at 12 volt, which is where it should be. If I was charging, it'd be up there 13, maybe 14. But yeah, I think that is so cool. Let's go back to menu. Trip full, trip, trip, <laughs> trip, and it shows you your fuel economy. Two, cool. I'm getting look at that 20.6. That's my average. That's city and highway. That's fantastic. The saying I'll show you what's rated. It's rated 24 EPA. That's a lot. And in using cruise control at 70, 75 mile an hour, we're getting up there at 24, 25 miles a gallon, which is great. I'll try not to weigh this one down. The last one was rated on the highway on my EcoBoost 2018 to get. Uh, 23 on the highway and it did that until I added steel bumpers and toolboxes and all that. I've already got the toolboxes on this so this may be what I always get and that's fine for a combination. So I think the combination on this one it says on the uh, the Maroni sticker it's, it's uh, like 19. 
So we're doing good. We're doing good. And we have we have broken in enough to use it for trailers. So we're at 2,600. That's great. We need to be over a thousand miles. So let me keep showing you all the cool stuff. Now in the back seat, of course, it's got power windows back here. In the middle there, it has a place for battery for you plugging in the USB and then we're at a small USB and then there's a regular 12 volt that I put a, another USB plug in it for the kids. That's for the full USB, not the small ones. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, if you remember, one of my views I did was on this plastic mat that goes all the way across the top. I took that out of the old truck and then underneath here, I put this toolbox, this locking toolbox. It's the one that I had in the last truck and I love this thing. It, it bolted right in the same exact way so that's pretty cool. Yes, indeed. Got a little lever here to drop the seats down. And then I got my clothes hanger in here on the other truck, which is so cool. And we're traveling long distances. I can hang all the clothes up. But this is pretty good. Pretty good. Front, these are also the rubber mats out of the other one. So if fill full of water, dump them out. You just dump the sand out. A lot of sand out here where I go. But yeah, so you got the rubber mats in there because underneath there is a factory rubber. Just a factory rubber floor. So now we got protection and you know we can hose this thing out. And that would be good. Now here is the running board. My wife is five foot one. So I need to get running boards and I like them too. And this here is just like what I had on the last truck. I bought this off Marketplace Facebook. It's like 80 bucks. And that the guy even installed it for me. He had the nuts, he had everything. Real easy to put these running boards on, so we got that. Yeah. I'm going to try to blow this Moroni up, but that shows you everything on there. And let's see, it does. It shows. It shows this is 51400 I bought it for around 50000 Plus, I had a $1,500 rebate and a $1,700 rebate, or $1,750. So I was up over $3,250 for rebates on this. So there it is, 51.40. I bought it for just around 50, plus I got the rebates taken off. But that's what this is, a Super Crew 5 liter. And this has got everything. It's a 3.31 regular axle, no limited slip. I, I will miss that. 17 inch wheel. All of them very well loaded for a basic work truck. I was impressed. That's why I gave up on the STX. Couldn't find one with a 3 liter. Very hard to find, but there we are. 24 on a highway, 16 in the city, 19 combined. And I'm getting over 20 right now. And it's five star crash except for rollover, and that's four star. That's what these are, they're very safe trucks. They've done all the right stuff. Look at metal right there. That was put in by Ford a long time ago, years and years ago. That's so if you have an accident, this tire does not come in to see you. It stays where it's put, it can't go past that bar. And Ram and GM just put that in a couple of years ago. It wasn't very long, maybe three years ago. The Ford's had it for decades. That's a safety thing. Keep the tire from eating your lunch when you're in an accident. This mirror, I'm hoping I can talk Ford out of a mirror, but that's going to take a while to get one. This is the one in an aftermarket snap. Just flips right over there. Let me see what this one's called. Called a K-Source Snap and Zap Custom Mirror. And of all the aftermarket ones, I like this one the best. Comes with a bag, so you can take them off and snap them off and put them in the bag and haul them around. But it really matches up to the factory one. It doesn't look bad at all. I'm going to use this until I can get some telescoping ones from Ford, hopefully. But anyway, so I like that mirror. Got you this DZ toolbox because see, my old truck was a five and a half foot bed. This is a six and a half foot. I love it. It's longer. You can do something with this. But that means the tunnel cover, I wanted it to fit off my five and a half footer, and I made it work by using this DZ one foot toolbox. Not bragging this toolbox, I actually had to put two befores in there to keep it spread apart or it would collapse. So, anyway, I had to modify it. But at least I got a foot of toolbox now, which is nice, and I can reach over the side of the bed and get them. And then I had to redo my tunnel cover. It, I had to bolt it together with a different kind of framework. But it all works. It all works really well. Another thing I got on here is this uh, floor mat. Didn't couldn't afford to spray one in yet, but maybe I'll talk somebody into it. But there it is, a rubber floor mat. I like that. That was uh, Dute Mar Dute Tumar truck bed, and it fits right in there perfectly. 
Now I'd like those. Someday maybe I'll do a bed liner, but this is what I need for now. Okay now, my last truck had the bed, the ladder that came out of the bed, and I love them. And it's so cool on uh, like the Super Duty. They, uh, now for this year, for last year, they have a cool bed that pulls out, a step pulls out of the, the tailgate. It's a little longer, and then you can get the special bumpers with steps in it, an extended step, and same way up by the toolbox. But not on the half tons yet. I hope they do that soon. So this is what I came up with. And it wasn't that expensive, but I'm not really proud of it. It's from Double um, A Products, and they were on it in Amazon, then they kind of disappeared there, so I bought it directly from them. But it's got a strap, and the coolest thing about this is it only takes up that much space, and I use my tailgate for a bench. And most of those ex extended ones, aftermarket ones, they would hook in the same place this does, so you'd have that bolted on there, and you'd have to stand it up and telescope it out to get up in there. And that means when it was folded in your tailgate, you lost your tailgate usage, and then you had to drill extra holes on the other end to strap down the long piece. This is, I just bolted it on, and that was it. And then you fold it down. And see, there's one step. And I probably should have got another company that made it one step, but I saw this had two steps. So I thought, whoa, it's got two steps. And so now you got the little baby step. But look how close together are. You can't use that. What are you going to do, just little baby steps all the way up there? That's just not a good design. They should have made this much higher. But anyway, I'll stop complaining eventually. But wait, there's more. Over here. Now, see, I took the pocket out of my stake pocket. You know, you put your two before you put your stock racks on. I took that out so I can use it for a hand grip too. But this one has its own handle. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Which I can do. I can grab that, pull myself up, step on that. And, you know, before I just jump up my knees and my knees hurt. I got too much arthritis going on. So I like it for a lot of things. I just wish it had a, a real two step. But it doesn't because it has to fold into the 19 inches of a tailgate. But that's how that goes. It's from triple or from double A products. So it's made well. I mean, I haven't broke it yet. It's rated this one here is rated about 300 pounds. And I'm some around 240, 230. But they do make steel ones that are rated a little higher. This looks like aluminum, but I couldn't find anywhere where it describes it as aluminum. Maybe, I don't know. It bolts on in about 11 places. That was no big deal. So there we have it. Now I'm going to roll back the tonneau cover so you can see on my modified. I was only one inch off from the other truck, so I had to do some different ways of anchoring the front of it, but it works. Now these are the factory tires that came with it. came with those little silver, silver th paint things, and I don't like them at all. But, so these are Pirellis that came with it. They're called all-terrain. I'm not sure if they're all-terrain. They don't look all-terrain, but... That's a Pirelli, which is a pretty good tire, made out of Brazil. And this one, it says on here they're like 8-ply, which would be a D-ply. And I, it's hard to read the print. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. But, you know, print's that small, you got to come out with a microscope. So anyway, we'll see how good they do in the winter. And you can see the overload spring. Look how big that puppy is. i got some better pictures, but it is thick. And it's got a little bounce tab on it all over the place. And that big spacer. Okay, I'm going to show you the worthless toolbox. It's a foot deep. It's the only thing good about it. See my two befores I had to put in there? Keep it from smashing itself together and self-destructing. But, oh well. It's served the purpose for now. My one-foot toolbox. And it's a crossover. And it drops down. See there? The step is all folded up. See, it's one cool one. It takes up a little section of this one side, but it leaves the rest of your bench. Before it does have a little cubby cubby holes in each corner so I'm not sure what you put in there because it's a plastic container and it drops down so you can probably figure out something I was going to put a jack in there but I don't think it'll hold the jack I think it'll break through the plastic but well, we'll find out see the nice thing about these mirrors the factory mirrors is they have that little spot right there you can see it, it tells you when somebody's right behind you or right to the side of you which I like that you can't really get that if you go to aftermarket mirrors unless they came from the factory but anyway now I do have some mirrors. Looks pretty cool. 
It's a blind spot indicator. Well, here's that tunnel cover, five and a half feet long, to fit my six and a half foot bed. Works on her nicely, fits tight, snaps into place. But yeah, it works well. Thanks, Ford. I love the truck. I appreciate the help. Yeah, it's awesome. I bought it from Bright Ford. This is the fourth truck I've bought from them. I had three cars and four trucks. Great people to work with. And yes, I always use Gen Y hitches. This one I put a lock on it, I put this on, and I pull the ball out and put it in the bed. This is such a well-made one. Now, he, Ford does this thing and the changing on the Super Duty. I mean, these are way back there. The Super Duty Fords now have that little hook for the safety chains clear up by the front of the bumper, which is where they should be. This back here is a pain in the butt. You gotta get down your knees to reach it with a safety chain, and then you have to reach underneath there with your chain and hook onto a chain extension. Come on, Ford, fix the half tons. You fixed the heavy the super duties, and I was happy about that. Now I just need these. There's my bolt lock using the ignition key. Yep, there's that easy fuel cap. You just stick that nozzle in there. Easy fuel. But look, there's no warnings about premium fuel. Nowhere does it say I have to use premium fuel. That's one thing I didn't like about the EcoBoost and about every other powerful engine out there from from Chevy, from even Nissan, they want you to use premium. Well, I don't have to anymore. The other one on the EcoBoost, I had to use it when I was towing or in, in the summer. But this, I get to buy the good cheap stuff. I'd never buy another truck that I had to use premium fuel on. Uh, now, I know the new Hurricane High Output, you don't, you can use either one, and they're not gonna give you a whole bunch of crap about it, but this is so cool. My, my, my purring V8, powerful coyote. Hey there, sweetie pie. <laughs> Let's see if this Ford's worth anything. It's got a bottle opener right Woo in the tailgate. One on each side. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, so happy.